This is the uh, home office of Spaceward and Gizmonix. They're right next door to each other. And here's the practice area. They're just finishing up assembly. The gantry. Crane and cherry picker, I guess that thing is. I presume this is the 7,000 watt light. Might be the 10,000 watt light. A lot of power here. This is where all the teams, all seven teams, not sure how we're going to fit in here comfortably. I'm sure we'll be working very hard, finishing up the construction of the climbers, tweaking them out. My climbers in this box, sleeping, dreaming about winning first prize. I presume this is the 7,000 watt lamp. As you can tell in the last video that there is fairly no uh, filtration whatsoever on these lights. It will be much more hotter than our previous uh, test on the, uh, on the other light. We have some uh, CNC machines here. Look very expensive. I don't want to knock into them. Yeah, it's part of it. Oh, this, is, yeah, this is the first one that's going on the rip. Oh, really? Yeah, the rest of them we've just been placing up there and turning the light on. And then, uh, oh, wow. So this is the first one going on the rip. And they put it on the ribbon and they found out that it was uh, pretty huge. Yeah, I think that's the cutter. Well, the, it, right now it's not tense because um, they're working on it. And they, for them, the way they put it on is even on Oh, and then, 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 then they're, once they get them there and they know it's going to hold, then they'll lift it up. You'll see there's a, a box, a metal box there with sandbags in it. Okay. It's 500 pounds of sand. And uh, you see how it's picked up the lever arm up there. Oh, yeah. So you start lifting up. And once, oh, and you can test it in the top. Yeah, and then it'll, it'll lift up the sandbag, which is much lighter than the gantry. And uh, so then you can say, aha, 500 pounds, but the tension is lower. So now we can control the tension. Okay. There is a that way. I don't speed our test them. Like, you know, people eight hour test, they, you know, it can be kind of hard to right. get some good right. interest. Well, you know, I, I, I was about, I guess, about second to last. Four, 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 four. Ooh, it's hanging. Wow. Oh, see that air break? Wow. Want to take them to base, by the way? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Check that pressure down. Make sure it's... Oh, we, we're going to put this way back up by the wall, though, aren't we? Yeah. 
Let me try a different way. Hold his up. Yep. Hold his up. Yeah, you pull him up in the center. Yeah. So, yeah. And then, uh, so I pull him around that rub. Velcro around there. At the bottom. You have to flip it, whatever you need to do. Yeah. Just stand it above again. That looks great. The climber shows. You think you're going to go with the bottom? I heard you have a lot of things. Which are stripping the blue tether. Might need that anchor. Really going to need that anchor. Yeah, I know. I got the bar mates. Who's going to measure the board? Ed? You got this on. Grab cool. I think the belay line over the anti rotation. Who cares about anti rotation? But you know, this thing picked up the gantry, so I don't think it's going to break. So it gets to this spot and stops because it can't go any farther, right? Nice right. hard metal. So I do that and I, okay, so there it is. And then I've got on the other side, um, this thing that goes in a collar. So you have this collar and there's this little guy here that's a leak, right? So I have a pressure fit. So I have these two, um, I don't know what I call them, but they're, they're um, rings with screws through them and I push it together and that's supposed to be enough to seal why it. Is, why is the rings are so important in aerospace? What's oh, the, the deal about these and all that? rings? They gotta Pressure. seal stuff, right? I guess. What is the they, they have to seal it, right? Why, well, you know what happens when an O-ring fails? Oh yeah, don't we all, unfortunately. Huh? Can't we design something that just eliminates the ring so they can't it's fail because well, they're, that would be good. they're non existent? Yeah. yeah, it's called solid. Well, you make, well, you know, the solid, solid rocket booster, if they could, well, if they didn't have to transport them, which for political reasons they probably did, right? If they made that thing one long tube, you don't have any O rings. The only thing you have O rings is you're putting these pieces together. Yeah. If you just manufactured a one piece, right? You don't have all those issues, but good luck politically... So that's go, going back to the nanite technology, all one solid perfect piece. Why not? <laughs> you know, don't transport it. Isn't that work? Oh. Works for me. You just gotta keep plugging away, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.